Uh, thank you for the introduction. I'm Takashi from NTT. Uh, today, I will talk about the constraint PRF for NV1 in traditional group. And here, the traditional group in the title just means pairing-free group. So I will use the term pairing-free group in, throughout this talk uh, for avoiding misunderstanding. And this is a joint work with Natsuko Natural Partner, Takahiro Matsuda, Yo Nishimaki, and Shoto Yamada. So the PRF pseudorandom function is a key function that is indistinguishable from a random function via Oracle Accesses. And it is well known that there is a construction based on any one function, uh, as shown by Goro Rai, Goro Wasa, Mikari. And in recent work, uh, there is considered an uh, extension of a PRF called constrained PRF. In constrained PRF, uh, we can constrain uh, PR, PRF key K by a constraint F, which defines some predicate. And to generate a constraint key, K sub F, and uh, we require this correctness and security. As a correctness, we require that for every input X such that F of X equal to zero, uh, we can uh, evaluate the PRF value on the input X by using the constraint key K, uh, K sub F. On the other hand, as a security, uh, for every X such that F of X equal to one, uh, the value of PRF on the input X is pseudo random given the constraint key K sub F. And here I remark that in the original definition, the definition is reversed in the meaning that in the original definition, uh, the correctness is required for the case of f of x equal to 1, and the security was defined for the case of f of x equal to 0. But, uh, so the definition is reversed, but this difference is just for notation or convenience of our construction, and that doesn't make any significant difference. So I will explain our motivation of this work. So there are several non construction of CPRF. In the collision resistance setting where otherwise we can obtain arbitrary many constraint keys, uh, there are construction based on multilinear map or obfuscation. In the single key setting uh, where otherwise we can only obtain a single constraint key, uh, there is a lot based construction. And here I omit uh, construction for specific functionality, very uh, limited functionality like puncturing or bit fixing. And our problem is, is there a construction of a CPRF for large function class based on pairing-free group? And actually, uh, even if we assume uh, we use the pairing, uh, there is no construction of such a large uh, CPRF for large function class. But in this work, we stick to a construction based on pairing-free group. And as a second motivation, we consider a private CPRF, uh, which was introduced by Bonnet Levy in 2017. Uh, CPRF is said to be private if K sub F does not reveal F. And in the collision resistance setting, uh, there are construction based on multi map, map or obfuscation. And the single key setting, there are construction based on lattice. However, we don't know how to construct such a private CPRF based on pairing free group. And uh, in private setting, actually, we don't know how to construct private CPRF on pairing free group for very simple functionalities like uh, puncturing or bit fixing. So we want to construct a uh, private CPRF for, on pairing free group for any, any functionality. And this is the summary of our results. As a first result, uh, we construct CPRF for NC1 circuit on pairing free group. And this construction is selectively single key secure under the LDDH assumption on the group of quadratic residue, QR sub Q, and the DDH assumption on another group. And uh, the assum LDDH assumption is a parameterized assumption by integer error, which I will explain later. And uh, our second result is a construction of private CPRF for bit fixing functions on pairing free group. And this construction is selectively single key secure under the DDH assumption. And the core technique uh, that is common to both of these results is a novel use of correlated input secure hash function. And in this talk, I will mainly uh, explain the, our first result. So first, I will explain uh, the formal definition of the security notion of CPRF. And because in this talk, we only consider selective single key security, so I will only define this security notion. And in this security notion, adversary first makes a key query F, uh, which is in the uh, function class F, and then a challenger chooses a PRF key K and returns a constraint key K sub F. And 
uh, this uh, other password can make key query only once because we only consider single key security. And after that, uh, other password can make uh, arbitrary many evaluation query. And when other password makes for evaluation query X, uh, the challenger returns PRF of K comma X. And finally, other password makes a challenge query X star. And uh, then the challenger uh, picks a random coin, which is 0 or 1. And if the coin equal 1, then the challenger returns PRF of K comma X star. And otherwise, it returns uh, random output Y. And the other battery task is to guess uh, the case, uh, the guess the value of coin. And uh, to prevent a uh, trivia attack, we have to put uh, two restric restrictions on the other battery. First, we require that f of x star is equal to 1. And second, uh, x star is not with other evaluation query. And then uh, we say that CPRF is selectively single key secure if uh, for every polynomial time other battery uh, that satisfies these two conditions, uh, the probability that other battery can correctly get coin is almost equal to one half. So this is a roadmap of our construction. So our construction can be divided into two steps. Uh, first, we construct selectively single key secure CPRF for NC1. That is only secure against other batteries that make no evaluation query. The after that, uh, we strengthen the construction by using the created input secure hash function to achieve uh, security against other batteries that make unbounded number of evaluation queries. So first, I will explain the first step, uh, the construction secure against no evaluation query. So this is the construction of no evaluation secure CPRF. And uh, let U be your universal circuit for function class F for which we want to construct CPRF. And that is, uh, we have U of F1 to Fz comma X equal to F of X, uh, where F sub I denotes the i bit of the description of the function F. And then we assume that the degree of U as a multivariate polynomial is at most capital D, which is a polynomial in the security parameter lambda. And it is known that such a universal circuit exists for any C1 circuit, which is a log dev circuit. And so these two conditions, this condition, this condition is satisfied when considering a function class F that is contained in NC1. And let G be a cyclic group of order P with generator G. Then our construction is described like this. The PRF key K consists of uh, B1 to BZ, uh, which are uniformly chosen from ZP, and alpha, which is uniformly chosen from ZP star. And the PRF value is defined like this, uh, PRF of K comma x is defined to be a g to the u of b1 to bz comma x over alpha. So this is the definition of our, our PRF, uh, no evaluation secure CPRF. And uh, because we want to claim that this construction is a constraint PRF, so we have to define how to generate constraint key and how to use that constraint key to evaluate the PRF. So first I will explain the, the definition of constraint key. So for a constraint function f, uh, we do like this. So for every i, we compute b i prime, which is equal to b i minus f y over alpha module p. And then the constraint key, k sub f, consists of f itself and b1 prime to b z prime and g g to the alpha to the g to the alpha to the g minus 1. And next, I will explain how to use this constraint key to evaluate the PLF uh, for input x such that f of x equal to 0. So first, by the definition of bi prime, we have bi equal alpha bi prime plus fi module p. And then uh, by using this equation, we can expand u of b1 to bz comma x uh, like this. And here, remark that uh, we assume that the degree of uh, universal circuit u is at most d. So the summation is from i equal 1 to capital D. And uh, here, the constant term uh, u of f1 to fz comma x is actually equal to f of x uh, because, uh, because of the definition of the universal circuit. And here, when considering the correctness, we assume that f of x equal to 0. So this term is actually 0. And so we have uh, the u of b1 to bz comma x is equal to that summation. Uh, so we have, uh, we can write uh, prf of k comma x like this. And here, uh, remark that. Uh, a constraint key k sub f contains these values g to the g to the alpha to z to the alpha to the d minus 1. So uh, we can compute this value efficiently by just using this value. 
And next, I will uh, explain uh, the security proof of the, the construction uh, that against your no evaluation adversary. So for that purpose, we introduced uh, security assum uh, uh, assumption called LDTG or DP Herman inversion assumption, LDDHA assumption. So LDDHA assumption claims that given G, G to the alpha to the G to the alpha to the air, G to the one over alpha and uh, random group element R is computationally indistinguishable. And we proved that the previously given scheme is uh, selectively single key secure against other batteries that make no evaluation queries under the D minus one DDH assumption. Uh, we are, uh, recall that D is the uh, degree of the universal circuit. And uh, okay, I will uh, briefly explain the security proof. And uh, so what we have to prove is that given constrained key K sub F, uh, if F of X equal to one, then the PR, PRF value on the input X is pseudo random. And here we go that uh, we have this equation as seen in the uh, correctness. And uh, then if F of X equal to one, uh, we can write PRF of K comma X like this. And here, this part is efficiently computable from K sub F uh, as seen in the correctness argument. On the other hand, this bar is pseudo random under the D minus one DDH assumption. As a result, we can prove that PRF of K comma X is also pseudo random. And this completes the security of the no, uh, proof of the no evaluation security. So now we completed the, our first step, uh, the CPRF against no evaluation security. So from now, I will explain how to strengthen the construction to achieve unbounded evaluation security. So before explaining how to strengthen the construction, I will first explain why the previous construction only achieved no evaluation security. So actually, there, if the evaluation record is given, then there exists an attack against the no evaluation uh, scheme. So I will explain the attack. So suppose that an adversary is given K sub F and also given the PRF of K comma X for X such that F of X equal to one, then as seen before, we have this equation. Here, consider another x prime such that f of x prime equal to one. Uh, we have uh, this equation for another ca prime, and then by using prf k comma x, we can write like this. And here, uh, we notice that uh, this part is computable from k sub f, and so this means that if one is given uh, prf k comma x and also given k sub f, then we can predict value of prf k comma x prime for every x prime. And so this means that this scheme is broken uh, if other we can make only one evaluation query. So the problem of the previous construction was that uh, PRF of k comma x and the PRF of k comma x prime have an algebraic correlation, uh, which means that uh, there is a correlation like this form. And so we want to break the correlation for this purpose, we use correlated input secure hash function. The correlated input secure hash function uh, was introduced by Goyer on Rao in 2011, and a hash function CIH is a correlated input hash function for function class F if the following two, two words are computationally indistinguishable. In the real world, uh, the oracle first picks a random R, and then uh, when other battery queries the function F, uh, the oracle returns CIH of F of R. On the other hand, in the ideal world, uh, the oracle uh, chooses a random function RF in addition to the random, random R, and then uh, if other buffer makes the uh, query F, then the oracle returns RF of F of R. So the difference between these two words is that uh, in the ideal world, uh, the CIH, hash function CIH is replaced by random function RF. And intuitively, uh, in the real world, uh, other buffer can obtain uh, many output value of CIH on correlated input F of R, uh, which are derived from single randomness R. And uh, in, even in this situation, other buffer cannot detect the correlation uh, among the, these input uh, just by uh, seeing the output distribution. Uh, this is the intuition of the security notion of CIH. 
And uh, in our purpose, we want to break the algebraic relation between group elements. So we want to use a CIH for group compatible function class. And the CIH is G compatible CIH if it is a CIH for the class of all non zero constant multiplication functions on G. That is, uh, these two words are indistinguishable. In the real world, adversary makes a query A and then the oracle returns CIH of A times R. And in the ideal world, uh, when A is queried, the oracle returns RF of A times R. So these two words are indistinguishable. So now I will explain how to use uh, group compatible CIH to strengthen no evaluation security to unbounded evaluation security. So let PRF sub NE be our no evaluation secure CPRF as given before and CIH be your G compatible CIH. And then we just define uh, our new PRF as a CIH of PRF NE of K comma X. And then uh, the constraint key of PRF can be defined exactly the same as that of PRF sub NE because CIH is just a efficient uh, the public computable hash function, so this does not uh, affect the correctness. And we prove that uh, the, this PRF as defined like this is selectively single key secure against other batteries that make unbounded number of evaluation groups. So I will give a sketch of the proof. So for x such that f of x equal to 1, uh, we have PRF of k comma x uh, equal to this term because uh, we take CIH of PRF sub NE and PRF of sub NE is this form. And now we use uh, D minus 1 DDH assumption to replace G to the 1 over alpha with a random group element R. And next, uh, we use the security of CIH to replace the hash function CIH with a random function RF. And now at this point, uh, the PRF of K comma X is completely independently random for each X. In that case, uh, the evaluation oracle just returns or independent random values. So that is meaningless for other battery. So this means that we can reduce the security against uh, unbounded evaluation security to the no evaluation security. And we already assumed uh, no evaluation security of the PRF sub NE, so this completes the proof. And now, so we obtain selectively single key secure CPRF for NC1, assuming the D minus one DDH assumption holds on G, and there exists a G-compatible CIH. So the problem is what group G to use. So actually, in the random oracle model, uh, we can use the random oracle to instance A, the G-compatible CIH, and so what we need is just for D minus one, uh, the group G on which D minus one DDH assumption holds. However, in the standard model, unfortunately, there is no known instantiation of such a group G that satisfies these, uh, these conditions simultaneously. Uh, this is mainly because uh, we have very limited number of construction of group compatible CIH in the standard model. So to find uh, uh, instantiation in the standard model, we have to further modify the construction. So actually, the only known construction of a group compatible CIH is the one proposed by Bilal and Cash. And actually, Bilal and Cash presented their result as a uh, related key secure PRF, but that can be seen as a CIH. And uh, their CIH supports component-wise multiplications over ZQ status M and the DDH assumption on another group G prime. And so our first attempt is to set uh, the group G to be ZQ star and define PRF of K comma X to be a CIH of M parallel copies of the PRF sub NE. And uh, if D minus one DDH assumption holds on the group ZQ star, then this construction works. However, unfortunately, uh, the D minus one DDH assumption does not hold on this group uh, because uh, this can be broken by just computing the Jacobi symbol. And actually, on this group, it is well known that uh, by using the same attack, uh, even DDH assumption does not hold. So our idea is to use a subgroup G, uh, subgroup QR sub Q, which is a quadratic related subgroup of ZQ star. And uh, on this group, a Jacobi symbol of any element is uh, equal to one, and so the attack 
uh, by the Jacobi symbol does not work on this group, and so it is reasonable to assume the d minus one dd assumption holds on this group. So this is, is our actual construction. So our construction is a PRF, uh, PRF defined to be CIH of m parallel copies of PRF sub NE, uh, where PRF sub NE is instantiated on QRQ, and CIH is barely cash CIH instantiated on another group G prime. And security can be proven based on this, this assumption, a D minus one DDH assumption on QRQ, and DDH assumption on G prime. And finally, I will uh, give a comparison table among construction of CPRF. And uh, this is a comparison table. And uh, before our work, uh, construction of CPRF that can be instantiated based on pairing free group was this one and this one and this one. However, this construction only achieve limited functionality like a puncturing or substring match function. And so on the other hand, our construction achieve NC1 circuit that is a fairly large function class. So this is the first scheme that, that can support such a large function class based on pairing tree group. And uh, though I did not give any detail of the construction of the, our private CPRF, but I will give a comparison among private CPRF. So as seen in this table, uh, before our work, there were no, no known construction of private CPRF uh, that can be instantiated based on pairing free group, uh, even for very limited functionality like a bit fixing or puncturing. And uh, our function, our construction is the first scheme that, that achieves uh, private CPRF for bit fixing based on the standard DDH assumption. So finally, I will give the summary of my talk. Uh, we gave new construction of CPRF on pairing free group. Our first construction is single key CPRF for NC1 from DDH and the D minus one DDH assumption on QR sub Q. And the second construction is single key private CPRF for bit fixing function from DDH assumption. And finally, I will give, mention several open problems. Uh, the first open problem, uh, first open problem is construction of collusion resistant and or adaptive construction. Because our construction only achieve single key and uh, selective uh, security. And so this is not achieved in our construction. And I remark that in our paper, we proved that in the random oracle model, we can achieve adaptive security. However, we don't know how to achieve adaptive security uh, in the standard model. And the second open problem uh, is to instantiate our first construction based on general groups. Because, uh, because of the use of the specific CIH, we have to instantiate our construction based on the specific group Q or sub Q. So it will be nice if we can instantiate the construction based on any group. And finally, the third open problem is uh, construction of private or non-private CPRF for wider function class on pairing free group. Our function, our first result uh, only achieve any one circuit, so it will be better to achieve uh, construction for all circuits. And our second construction only achieve bit fixing function, so it will be nice to achieve uh, all circuits or even any one circuit. Uh, this is the end of my talk. Thank you for your attention.